tools to work on your Harley Davidson. Uh, let's get into it. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Elf. Hope you're enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralf.com and click the bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos. So, in this video, I'm talking about Harley Davidson motorcycles. Uh, I own one, you may own one, you may want one. Uh, you may want to start wrenching on it uh, at home, doing all those little service items, or maybe digging a little bit deeper. But then you need tools. Yes, uh, what kind of tools are you going to need? Now, uh, if you're in the United States uh, or in Canada, uh, then you're going to probably uh, be all au fait with the tools that you need because most of the fasteners on a Harley Davidson will be in imperial sizes. Uh, yes, like uh, one of these, it's a, a 7 8 or a 13 16 Yes, the old way of doing it, the old English way of doing it. Now, in England here, uh, where I am, we used to have a lot of this uh, imperial sizes for lots of mechanical leads, but those uh, pesky Europeans, they came over and uh, told us to go all uh, millimetery, centimetery. Yes, it's all decimalization and metricization or whatever the word is. So we adopted the metric system, uh, which is all fine and dandy. But most of the uh, automobiles and uh, motorcycles uh, here in the UK are all uh, metric. So that means we've got these kind of things, which are uh, 13s and uh, that's a bit uh, 15s and a 16 uh, mil spanner. All fine and dandy. So some of the machines over here in the United Kingdom uh, are metric and some are still uh, imperial. Uh, some are even Whitworth. Cool, that's another thing entirely. However, if you're in Europe, mostly everything's going to be metric. So over the years in this country, uh, more and more workshops, more and more home workshops, we've kind of gone over to uh, metric. And uh, most toolkits that you buy these days are predominantly metric, less and less imperial. Uh, but if you're working on a Harley Davidson, you will definitely need a set of imperial tools. So I'm not just talking about uh, metric spanners. I'm also talking about imperial spanners. Uh, you may even want some ring spanners, uh, metric and imperial. Uh, so uh, that's that. The next thing you're going to need is one of these. It's a ratchet spanner, but you may want a smaller one and you may even want a bigger one. Okay, so basically that's a quarter inch drive, the smaller one, a three eighth drive and a half inch drive. Now you could go all the way up to a three quarter inch drive, but I think that's about as much as you're really going to need for now anyway. So, you will need a set of sockets, these, these bad boys. And you could have the different sizes, you could have the quarter inch drive, you could have the three eighths drive, or you could have the big old half inch drive as well. So you will need a set of uh, metric sockets for occasional uh, fasteners on the uh, motorcycle that are in metric, uh, would you believe? But overwhelmingly, the majority will be in imperial. So you're gonna need a set of um, imperial sockets like this one here. Uh, also, uh, you may need some extenders like that uh, for your ratchet drives. And uh, the reason is because sometimes uh, some of the fasteners are a little bit hard to get out. The other thing you're going to need is a set of Allen keys. Uh, now, these are hexagonal Allen keys, uh, and you put these on drives. I would suggest getting the drivers. Uh, for your uh, socket sets here, uh, as opposed to a set of manual Allen keys, you know, those kind of L-shaped uh, Allen keys. These are a lot stronger and you'll be able to get a lot more purchase on them. Also, when you're torquing down uh, with a torque wrench, let me get that, uh, with a torque wrench, uh, which is like that, like that bad boy. Okay, so that's a half inch drive a torque wrench. Right. And then you've also got a quarter inch drive yeah, torque wrench. Like that. There we go. 
Now, the reason why you've got different size torque wrenches, well, essentially, the smaller one is for those tiny fasteners that hardly need any force applied to them at all. And then the bigger one is for those uh, manlier jobs, as it were, the ones that need a little bit more meat on the bones uh, with that force to tighten them up. Anyway, so you're going to need torque wrenches. You're going to need uh, metric spanners and uh, wrenchy things and imperial ones. You're going to need... Uh, socket sets, imperial and metric. You're going to need Allen keys. I, I would suggest get the socket sets, imperial and metric. Would you believe? You're also going to need. Uh, um, um, you're also going to need one of these uh, or a few of these sizes. Uh, these are Torx uh, socket uh, set. And now this is a T55, uh, but you're probably going to need a T50, T45, and probably a couple smaller ones as well for those pesky little fasteners uh, around the motorcycle. Don't forget the hammer as well. Always need a good hammer. Okay, so why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about the tools that you'll need? Uh, now, essentially, at some point, you may want to do simple servicing jobs on your motorcycle. You also may want to do more involved work, especially as it gets a little bit older, goes through its warranty period. Maybe you just don't want to take it to the dealership or a mechanic anymore. Maybe you want to do all this by yourself at home. Maybe you won't. Maybe you don't need any of this. Maybe you'll just uh, let somebody else to do it, which is absolutely fine. But I'm just talking about if you want to do this. Now, this kind of comes into uh, the myth, really, that motorcycling is cheap. Well, it can be if you have a very cheap motorcycle and uh, a motorcycle that never breaks down and it's very cheap to run uh, and so on and so forth. However, if you ever have to work on a motorcycle yourself, you're going to need some tools. And the more tools that you get, uh, guess what? The more money you're going to have to pay for them. And uh, when you start getting into quite technical stuff, then you kind of need uh, bigger and badder tools and um, lots of variations on tools as well. Um, Harley Davidsons are one of those types of motorcycles uh, that are predominantly one type of fastener. They are imperial, but occasionally you will find a couple of uh, metric bolts on there as well, which is just bonkers, isn't it? But there we go. Now, if you get a Japanese bike or a European bike, mostly they'll all be metric sizes as well. So there you go. If you have uh, a Japanese or an Italian bike or German bike, then, uh, well, hey, just stick to your uh, old metrics. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, but if you've got any kind of American hardware or old British hardware as well, uh, then unfortunately you're going to need uh, some Imperials as well or, or some of that. Uh, Allen keys, by the way, imperial and metric. I think I said that. Uh, Torx, you will need that. Uh, different sizes. Uh, ooh, all sorts. You probably need a really nice tool kit as well. Not some uh, plastic box, uh, which I've got here. Um, now, the reason why I haven't got a fancy tool kit, well, I have, actually. It's all behind the camera, but it's way too messy down there. Um, because I usually tend to take all my tools, what I need, uh, just throw them in a box and then just take them to where the bike is. Um, if you've got a workshop where you can wheel the bike in uh, to work on it, you're probably going to have lots of nicer drawers on it. Uh, you know, tool chest, lots of drawers, and it's all neatly laid out. Unfortunately, uh, I don't live in that world. I live in a real world where uh, things get dirty and... You know, tools get just thrown about a place. So there you go. If you want to work on your own Harley Davidson motorcycle, I'm afraid to say you're gonna need uh, quite a few tools. Uh, now, for the simple jobs, you probably get away with a simple set of tools. Uh, but the more uh, involved that you get, the more you're gonna have to start investing in more tools. And maybe you may think, I just can't be bothered with that. I'll just let somebody else do it. That's your choice, of course. In the long run, obviously, getting your own set of tools is going to work out better for you. Anyway, uh, I need to go and put all this away now. But look, hope you found that useful. i say please like, share, subscribe. Leave those comments below. Uh, check out the website, revelatoralf.com. Uh, click on that bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos because there are lots coming on a daily basis. Anyway, uh, right, on to the next one. Ta-da now. Revelator Al.